Okay, boys and girls, so here is an example of where most of us are on our circus train wagon project. Um, some of you have traced the circles for the wheels, but haven't cut them out yet. So what we're going to do today is start this part of the lesson by showing you how to trace the circles and cut them out and where to put them. And then we'll move on to the next step. So you'll have two pieces of smaller paper. And the smaller of the smaller papers is going to be where you're going to put your wheels. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your cup and I'm going to do mine with a pen so you can actually see it. But all I'm doing is tracing that two times, two times, then I'm going to take my scissors and very carefully cut out my circles or my wheels. And remember, you get to pick the color that you want for the wheels of your train wagon. But if your wagon is red, don't pick red for the wheels. Pick a different color. My wagon is red, so I am making my wheels green. So once they're cut out, we're going to get our glue stick, and I'll show you exactly where to glue these down, though I think you probably know. And then this can go in recycling or in the scraps. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our glue stick, only we're only going to put glue on this part of our cage for the wheels. We're not going to put the glue on the wheel. We're going to actually figure out where our wheels are going to go. I say leave a little bit of space over here. And don't put them too close in the middle. You can move this and put a little bit of glue. Then put your wheel on top. Do the same thing over here. Rub a little of the glue with the glue stick on there. And glue that wheel down. So now your circus train wagon has wheels. But what it's missing is the top of the train wagon. And I'm gonna show you how to make that. All right move that out of the way. Now, you have this long, skinny, horizontal piece of paper. Horizontal means it goes from left to right or right to left. What I want you to do is fold it in half, match the edges up, and press down your fold. So my folded part is over here. That's the part I can't open. And these are my two open ends that open up like a card or like a book. Now, what you're going to do, and remember, I'm going to write this down to, as a reminder of where the fold is. I'm going to put a little sign right here that says fold on it. And my folded side is right there. So the arrow is pointing to my fold. Now, I'm going to take my pen. You'll be using a pencil, but I'm going to use my marker pen. And somewhere along the top, where my fold is, don't forget the fold, I'm gonna put my pen down and I'm gonna make a wavy line. And then maybe I wanna stop and make a straight line that goes across. Or maybe a line that curves under. And then my next line is going to go right to the edge where my open edges are. And there we go. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to take our scissors. And it doesn't matter if you start up here or if you start right here. But you're going to take your scissors and cut along the line that you drew with your pencil. And take your time. And the piece up at the top here, that will end up being scrap. 
which means I won't be using that for my project. So this is the piece I'm using. This is scrap. So we'll put that aside. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to show you what the wagon top is going to look like when I open it up. It should fit perfectly from side to side. It should match up just like that. And then what I'm going to do is take my glue stick again and I'm going to put a line of glue, just a line, from one side to the other side, just like that. And then I'm going to place my wagon top right on top. Now, what we just did is create created something that is called symmetry or symmetrical, which means right where that fold was, everything on this side is a mirror image of everything on this side. So if I have a little curve over here, I have that same curve here. Straight line over here, on exactly the other side, I have that straight line there too. Now, this is where the real fun begins. I will make sure that you have some pretty gems that you can use to decorate. You will also have crowns that you may use. And we have some phone pieces that you can use. So these are some of the phone pieces that I can stick on. So I'll decorate mine a little bit while the camera's still on. First of all, I always like to start with the wheels. And you use whatever colors crayons you want to decorate. I'm going to find some gems that I can put in the middle. Oh, there's a pretty flower one. I'm going to use my glue. Make sure you put like a nice little chunk of uh, glue stick glue on there and press down your gem. And then I can draw some other lines and shapes in there. I got my kind of funny looking circus wheels. And maybe up here at the top, I can add some of these foam shapes. Put one all the way at the top. Maybe put another one here and another one here. And, and I'll put one right down here. Now some of the foam shapes might have sticky stuff on the back or you can use your glue stick and you can continue to draw some designs on there or you can make a pattern with your gemstones. I might put some gemstones along the top or the bottom edge of my wagon top up here. But this one right here at the top, it looks like a flower. And then I put some of these other clear ones on there, create kind of a pattern. And there's also some smaller ones, different colors. I've got purple. Just make sure you have plenty of glue or they will not stick. And they will fall off quickly. You can also draw hearts or Maybe you want to draw a star. Maybe 
we do a pattern over on the side. So you can add whatever decorations you want using what we have here and have fun with it. Remember to double check, make sure your name is on the back. And then you are done. You can put it in your folder that should be at your desk and then it will be collected and put over on the counter. All right, I hope you're good for my sub. Have a wonderful rest of your day.